Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Dr. Ronald Bradshaw Reaction Videos, also known as The Blue Rage. Okay, up there, I have um, uh, my uh, Hotel California and my uh, July 97. Well, I added base to theirs, right? The, the 97 is on my work. If I get copyrighted, my new thing is I move stuff to my smaller channel so I keep this channel clean, okay? If the other channel gets copyrighted, that's okay. Right, I can leave stuff there, and hopefully they let you watch it. Okay, uh, my goal for this is to learn how um, this song goes. Um, the song I'm working on that I'm gonna uh, play my bass guitar to, and maybe guitar, I don't know yet, is uh, Angelina Jordan, Born to Die. I've been working on that for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can learn this song. And for bass player, I just worry about the root notes. I'm not worried about his fingering style. So I'm just going to check it out to see how he teaches it. And see if, see if I can play this, put a bass guitar to this. All right. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Hello, kali ini saya akan membahas permainan gitar saya di lagu Doraemon. Yang akan saya bahas kali ini intronya aja dulu ya Biar nggak terlalu panjang videonya <tuh> uh, Oke okay, langsung aja kita bahas satu persatu Pertama kali uh, Seteman git senar gitarnya itu Nomor satunya ini Di setem di D diturunin satu nada jadi D. Kenapa diturunin jadi D? So like he said D and G. Uh, let me see. Let me see if they have a close captioning on the uh, on the song. You can't see what I'm looking at. Let me see if they have it. Yeah, they might have it. Close captioning and stuff. So let me see. Yeah, yeah, they do have it. Let me see English. translate English it's not like he's saying DNG I'm not watching this from YouTube right now okay I'm watching it from um, a file right but I'll go ahead and look at that later and then I think that's what he said DNG but I'm able to see it though all right let's go D D biar memudahkan untuk bermain suara satu dua kayak ini gitu ya karena di intronya Doraemon ini pak hampir full pakai suara satu dua oke langsung aja simak part ke satunya part one nah ini senar yang ditekan itu Nomor 2 kolom 3 nah, Senar 1 kolom 4 Ini Terus keduanya itu Di sini Di kolom 2 ini Senar 1 dan 2 Terus yang ketiganya Di senar nomor 3 Sama Senar nomor 2 Seperti ini yang keempatnya kolom 2 senar 3 dan 2 pakai satu jari begini <tuh> nah kalau dimainkan secara pelan seperti ini so he's a D minor so I think he's hitting D's and G's and that's what I'm thinking let me go to my YouTube page and see if I can scroll forward So he said, okay, let's discuss this one by one. Okay, why lower? Let's see. You move this up. 
my microphone is blocked. I got a big old microphone now. You can't you can't see it, but it's blocking my screen. Okay, so I'm following along here. Let me see, like this. Because Dore Me, Intro Sir, you almost fully use one of two. Okay. Please turn your string. Then the three on the string and the number three are the same. Okay. All right. And that's what he's saying. Uh, another ad just popped up. That's why that's why I work off a file. Okay. So, all right. So, but I'm going to read it later because I don't want to, I, I know you guys don't have time crunch out there. So, I'm just going to watch it and then I'll go back and read the instructions later. All right, let's go. Empat kali putaran kayaknya. Satu. So before we go to part two, like I said, I'm going to, um, I may not do this right away because I was looking at one of his other covers to do, like maybe Seal with a Kiss or something, but this will be on my list. So let me know which one of his I should do. Something that I'm familiar with that I can learn. Celine Dion is hard. It's chords, right, for the bass. So I do have a, a, a bass tutorial thing that showed me that, and uh, I'll do that one later. You know, but I was like studying that. And I'm like, oh man, they're hitting chords on this. I haven't used the chords. But I just bought me a four string guitar. I don't know if I want to open it up for Christmas or open it up now. I just got all my equipment. It's downstairs. I got a camera stand and for TikTok. I'll be doing TikToks and stuff. But uh, I'm thinking about doing one of his uh, maybe Bon Jovi covers or something. I'm, I'm going to find one of his covers. But after I do um, Angelina Jordan. Right, I'm gonna find another one of his covers. It may not be this one because I can still. Come on, I gotta learn it, right? And this is not a song that I'm familiar with, like one of his other covers and stuff. So, wait for me to do another um, a leap cover coming soon. But let me know which one you think I should do next, okay? But let, let's go and learn this part, second part. Uh, yang kita pakai itu senar nomor dua kolom lima, senar satu kolom enam. Ini, terus digeser ke depan gini terus kolom kedua pakai satu jari ini terus los senar sok satu dan dua jadi begini gitu ya Nah di part yang kedua ini ada yang berbeda Yang satunya ini Wah oh, itu Yang pertama ini tadi Nah yang kedua ini Senar satu dan dua Kolom sembilan begini Terus kolom tujuh Begini Terus kolom sembilan lagi Tapi senar tiga dan dua Terus kolom tujuh Senar tiga dan dua Jadi begini Ya Nah, ini cuma yang ini sekali doang. Oh, ini, ini, mudah-mudahan kelihatan ya. Nah, ini bassnya di A. A, terus da da da. I'm able to, to zoom in. I could probably choose a note, 
So I don't have to play it. Let's say no, no. If he's playing D and G, I may be able to choose whether I want to play a D or a G, right? As a, as a root note or the minor note. Sometimes it's called the third and all that stuff. It gets confusing. My brain is like, whoa, right? So I can learn this song and stuff. It's just the fact that which which one was I planning to do? And until I saw the tutorial, like, oh, let me go study this and stuff. I'll go. I'll go do this. Uh, uh, downstairs where I got my bass guitar right I have all my stuff downstairs but I said let me just look at it first and then study it later maybe write stuff down and then see see what I can do then you know and then like I said um, I'm, I'm looking at one of his other songs to do but something like an American song you know a rock and roll song or I said seal or something like that you know but be on the lookout for those uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have a like a lot of guitar covers and music covers and bass and stuff so be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys watch me as well. You know, that that's just if I do a leap of time, but watch my stuff. You know, TikTok. Jack, that's that's coming in New Year's. All right, all right. Let's go. Nah, empat ketikanya cukup segitu dulu. Akhirnya ini, nah itu senar empat kolom lima sama senar satu kolom lima, nah gitu ya, itu satu, duanya nih. Kolom tujuh senar lima sama senar dua kolom lima. Eh, ini senar lima kolom tujuh ya. Ini. Senar empat kolom empat sama senar satu kolom empat. Terus habis itu los D. Habis ini los. Nah gitu. Terus ini E. Senar empat kolom dua sama senar satu kolom dua. Terus senar lima kolom empat sama senar dua kolom dua. Nih, da da da. Terus D lagi. Terakhir. Kalau dimainkan dengan stabil, dengan tempo yang pelan seperti ini. Nah, itu ya. Wow, it's interesting, right? The way he spider crawls. That's what they call it, a spider crawl. He does that country picking that that he's done. He's doing with the. You know, one, two, three, four, or one, four, three, two, three. I did it like a long time ago when I was playing or like uh, acoustic guitar for a little bit. But it seemed like to, to do that, you got to learn that finger style. I also don't know if this fingernails are long. I, I know that a lot of the guitars they have long fingernails. I use a pick and stuff. You know, I don't like my fingernails growing long. But I noticed that they use that as a, as part of their instrument and stuff. So, yeah, interesting. Spider cross. We got another part, four parts. Okay, let's go. Like he's hitting the A note on that, hitting that open A with it. So I might be able to use that, right? That's the fact that he's hitting the open A. And if I want the riff with it, when I play with with the leap, like when we did Hotel California, he, he sort of made it his own. He didn't do it traditionally. 
right? My goal is not to get up there and I saw a guy do that, but the guy that was on Twitter and he had a leap guitar and he's just wailing on the guitar like, you, you, you're not playing with the leap, you're, you're playing against them, my opinion, my opinion. My goal is to play with them, to put the bass and whatever I do as support. He's the star, it's his video. Right, I can just add, if I want to add some drumming to it, some light drumming, maybe I can do that, right, as, as well. You know, but not right, no, no. My goal is to play along with them, right? The, the, the only thing that's gonna be hard for me is to um, put the song into a, uh, at the volume level. That's the big, biggest challenge because I'm, I'm, ex I'm um, how do you say it, recording uh, from the external. So I don't know if I want to, I don't have a mixer yet. I got a digital mixer, but I haven't learned how to use it, right? I got a, I got the thing right here for uh, the license. Well, I have the license. Yeah, I got to see the license. Plus, that's why you take my license, right? They go, oh, hey, thanks, right? <laughs> right? But, uh, uh, yeah, I had the license for it and stuff. And maybe I could be caught into that, but... But I, I that, that's just a, that's another time. So external externally, it's gonna be a challenge to try and get the levels right. So if my bass sounds too loud on your system, it's because uh, everything sounds good on my system. You may see that with a lot of reactors that put background music. Like when they talk, I used to do that. I used to have background music, and to me, it sounded perfect, the right level. But somebody else's system, the music was too loud; they couldn't hear me. So. That's the best that I can do on that is to try and do that. I have a new microphone that, I, like I said, the new system I bought for my downstairs system where I record my music at and stuff, right? I wish I could show it on this, but then the camera up there, 4K too, so that's good. I thought my head is green. See, I moved that, the green screen, and then my head is green like a Martian. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ini yang paling setil ini ya. Ini kolom 7, kolom 10, senar 2, sama kolom 11, senar 1. Ini. Terus geser ke depan. Bentuknya sama. Nah, setelah itu begini. Ini senar satu dan dua sama di kolom tujuh. Ya. Nah ini senar tiga kolom sepuluh sama senar dua kolom sembilan. Lanjut ke sini Kolom 5 senar 1 2 Geser terus geser ke depan Kolom 4 Terus Kolom 7 senar 3 Kolom 6 senar 2 Ini Jadi gini Habis ini Terus ke depannya, tapi pakainya jari yang ini. Ini yang los ini senar satu dua. Terakhir ke kolom tujuh senar empat sama kolom enam. Eh, iya kolom enam senar tiga. part keempat ni nah seperti itu kalau dimainkan pelan kalau sudah hafal semua jalurnya dari awal tadi dimainkan dengan tempo yang lambat dulu tapi stabil contohnya seperti ini
tapi seperti ini ya <tuh> semoga tutorial ini bermanfaat untuk teman-teman yang pengen belajar saya nggak ada maksud untuk menggurui cuman berbagi aja sekian video kali ini terima kasih thank you I think that means thank you for that for the lessons all right all right so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably um I'm gonna put that in a folder and then learn it But I want to practice one of his songs that I know. I'm thinking maybe Seal with the Kiss or something like that. I have to look. Maybe one of the Bon Jovi's. It could be one of the Queens and stuff like that. And stuff. So I do have a program that teaches me songs. But he does like to play things his one way. Sometimes he won't, he won't play it like traditionally. He'll, he'll add it because it's him by itself, you know. And see what I can do to it and stuff. But my next uh, tutorial. Because I was getting ready to go downstairs. But I was getting late where I'm at. So I said, well, I'll do it tomorrow morning and do Angelina Jordan's um, Born to Die. I'm not sure if he did Born to Die, right? And I just add on a simple bass line to it. And that's sort of where I'm at and stuff, you know. I might add a bass line to, to that one. So on this one, I don't want to learn the guitar. I want to learn just the root notes. I might type in there, what are the root notes? And then um, hopefully I can do a collaboration to it and stuff. And stuff, but I, I would like to do one of his more American. So this is a cover, but I'm not sure if it's an American cover that I don't recognize the name, or is it a cover from India or some other place, Indonesia, or something like that. Let me know the history of this song. But maybe I don't know if I want to find an original because I don't want to ruin it in my head. You know, I don't want to go. Oh, I'm gonna do what he did, how the bass player did. You know, if there's a bass to it, I don't know. You know, and stuff like that. So. um I do want to do that and stuff. So I am going to put music to his, uh, add bass guitar to his music and others, you know. So and I hope that when I start doing my bass um, solo the cover, I have to get permission from one company to use their stuff. If not, I'll just play bass by itself and then allow people to add their stuff to mine. And that's what I'm going to do. It won't sound like, like let's say, much, right? But if they add their stuff in, then that would make it uh, a song. If I did Hotel California by myself, then they can add in the drum. I could do different versions. I could do it with backing music, backing tracks, if I'm a license to do so, whatever, hopefully, right? If not, I could do Hotel California by myself. And then if he wants to add it to mine, which would be traditional, right? The way the song is played on the CD, then fine, you know? And I want to have a thing where nobody copyrights it, whatever, everybody can share, and anybody can add. If you're a singer, drummer, you play the you know, spoons, I don't care, right? You know, add, add your part to it. That's going to be my new thing, too. And that's what I want to do is make things more inclusive. So that we're, we have like a virtual band all around the globe. Anybody could, you know, join in and stuff. Just don't copyright it. And that way, everybody could join in. Everybody, nobody should get a strike or anything like that. But that's my future. That's what I'm doing in 2023 and stuff so hopefully you guys support me on that as well All right please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna uh, lock this up study it and then get to work all right this is dr rod i catch you guys in the next video